I want to show you how to format your web pages in Drupal using a WYSIWYG editor. A WYSIWYG editor looks a bit like Microsoft Word and it's much easier to use than, uh, than typing the code in by hand. So let's get started. We're going to make a new page. We'll have a, an article page. We'll call it formatting my web page. Right. First of all, we want to change this text format to full HTML. Now, we want to paste in some text. This I've written this in a word processor. This word processor is called LibreOffice, but it's very similar to Microsoft Word. So, let's copy it. Now we want to paste it into the document. So, there's a button here called Paste from Word. Now, if you don't have Word, I don't have Word, well, I, I don't, I'm not using Word today. This is a free product I'm using, so, and it works with this. So if you've got any other word processor that's not Microsoft Word, it's worth trying to see if it'll work. I think it probably will. Click Paste from Word button, simply paste the text in, click OK and it's been pasted into our page. Now, so you can see better what we're doing, I'm going to click this button here, which maximizes the screen, and it makes it so that you can see more easily what I'm doing. I've got a limited, because it's um, YouTube, we've got a sm small screen to work with. So, what we're going to do first, this is a headline, so I'm going to make this into a headline. Before we start, so I'll just show you what we're going to get when we've finished. There'll be a headline. That, that's actually our page title. You'll have a headline here. We're going to have a link that links to another part of this page. So when you click the link, the page scrolls down to the bottom. Click it, go back to the top. So when I click that, we actually went to here. It's all on the same page. This is a standard paragraph of text. We don't need to change that. We're going to change this, we're going to make a number works in just the same way. This is a block quote, and um, it just adds a nice little touch to your web page. This is a um, horizontal rule, bold text, italic text, underlined text, font, the different colour font, different colour background for the font. This is an indented paragraph. This is a central line paragraph, and that's a smiley face. There's a link to Google, and this is subscript and superscript uh, text. So let's go back and we'll start to start to add, add some of this formatting. First of all, the headline. Now, you can choose from six different types of headlines. You're only supposed to use one heading one on a page, you've got heading one, two, three, four. Th there's nothing to stop you having more than one heading one, but it's just considered to be bad practice. So only only have heading one on the um, the title of your page will appear at the top, and Drupal puts that in as heading one. So if we stick to heading two and heading three, we're okay. Right, now this text links, links to another part of the page. So we'll go to where we want to link it to. This we, we're going to click this here to go back to the top. So we'll put a link in here called a named anchor or an anchor. And we're going to call the anchor B O T to stand for bottom of the page. Or well, certainly lower down the page, isn't it? Right, so here we're going to put another one of these <coughs> pardon me. <coughs> one of these named anchors. And we'll have this one as top. So now we've got a, an anchor at the top and an anchor near the bottom. So this text, we're going to link this text to the bottom of the page. So now we've got the anchor in the page, we can link to it. And that anchor is not a URL. Link type is not a URL. 
it's a link anchor link to anchor on in the text and it is up to the bottom right we'll put the link back to the top with the other one this one this text links back to the link you clicked further up the page so when we click this the page will scroll back to here and we do that with another one of these anchors we've already put the anchor in so all we need to do now is to link to the anchor so if we highlight the text we want to use to click click the link button it's not a URL it's a link to anchor in the text and it's called top so now I've got a link that takes us to the bottom and a link that takes us back to the top this is just a paragraph text we don't need to change that this is the list the bulleted list I'm going to use a, a numbered list but if you're the next button bulleted list click that one and you'll have bulleted lists today I'm going to use a numbered list now this is the block quote now a block quote you won't be able to see it on this page but you will be able to see it when we view it in a web browser um, a block quote is this button here block quotes two little quote marks block quote and it just adds a nice little bit of styling to your page uh, I'll show you that later on but it, it does add a nice little extra bit we're going to put a horizontal rule here just to break the page in half insert horizontal line there we go made a line right this is important text so I made it bold click the bold button got bold text now this one is italic this text is not so quite important so I make it italic just click the italic button now I also want to underline one word however I realize this will confuse my readers they will think it's a link but it's not right so we're going to underline that word even though my readers will think it's a link so that's underlined right I know I'll highlight an important word using color problem solved you can change the color of the font so this two buttons here text color background color we're going to make the text color red red text color we're going to make the background color of this word yellow so I've got an underlined word a red word and a word that's got a background right. I want to indent this paragraph of text to make it stand out so all we have to do to indent the paragraph is click the indent button increase indent we can do it more than once if we want to make it indent more further right now this one we're going to center align this paragraph center align and there we go right now what I'm going to show you is a button that shows you where the blocks of code are inside your page that you're making now <laughs> you, you probably won't need to use this but it's useful if you're um, a designer or whatever it's, it's it, it shows you where the different blocks are in your web page um, and the only reason I'm showing you it is because you might click that button one day and think oh no what have I done there so that one just shows you the blocks or the, how your page is laid out these are all the computer bits of computer code that lay your page out it's telling you that that's a headline too these are paragraphs so let's see where we get to now right subscript and superscript, superscript if you use a word processor you've probably heard of the words subscript and superscript they just move the one word in, in the um, sentence below the rest so we'll click it and you'll see what I mean so uh, subscript will move it below right where's my button gone there we go 
subscript this if you watch it's moved it below moved it down below the line and we can move it above the line with superscript so you can move it below with subscript above with superscript and then the word sticks up or sticks down now we're going to add a link to Google all we need is this link button now this time it is a URL and it is google.com if we want it to we can change the target to this in the link dialog box there's a, a button that says target now if you click the target button and set it to new window blank that means when you click this link it will open up in a in a, another window another tab um, which means that you, you don't lose the visitors from your website they the still your website will still be open in their browser but when they click this another window or another tab will open uh, so so that they don't get lost right now I'm just going to show you the character map and the character map uh, certain characters on the on a web page are special characters uh, they, they, they're used in programming languages this character is used in PHP uh, a lot it's called a variable um, the angle brackets if we can find one I'll show where the angle brackets are there we go these angle brackets are used in a HTML they're used in a lot of programming languages this exclamation mark is used commonly in programming languages but a lot of these characters they're, they're used in the programming language that makes the web page work so some old computers don't know how to use them on the web page and they just output computer code instead or you might want to use this uh, copyright sign um, or these little, little highlights um, but it's, it's good to know the character map is there if you want to use it see this one the and sign actually produces that and amp uh, semicolon that's the, the computer code that makes it work and sometimes that will show up on your web page so it's good to know where the character map is in case you have problems but generally speaking you don't need to use it now well, that's just about that so what we need to do now is save the page have a quick look make sure it looks okay which it does we'll now try clicking links this should take us further down the same page and this one should take us up to the top so paragraph bulleted list block quote that's just a nice little indented block quote horizontal rule bold text underlined text red font yellow background indented paragraph center lined paragraph and that's about that oh and I through, now we, if I click this it won't take us to Google because um, I'm not online I'm, I'm not on the internet at the moment if we were it, it would take us to Google and that's that as far as I can see well thanks for watching I hope you uh, hope you like Drupal it's, it's a really good um, content management system and it's well worth spending a little bit of time learning how to use it so thanks for watching hope you pop back soon bye